Thanks for the opportunity again. I really appreciate that. Being able to do these presentations really makes our work a lot simpler, more straightforward, and being able to talk to a bunch of you at once saves a lot of phone calls. So I do appreciate that. Uh, who's seen this presentation previously? Okay, please laugh at the same jokes. So, um, all right, so my name is Mike Murrow. I'm with Bellows Plumbing. I run the operations and sales over there. Um, I brought along Jan because she's going to be doing a, some of these ordinance inspections as well, so you'll be seeing her face. Jen, would you stand up? Hello, I'm Jennifer. <laughs> she's a talker, so don't let her get started. Um, she, she's got all the PACP certification. She knows the sewer laterals. She's been in plumbing for a long time. Uh, we're just training her up on the whole admin side of this and how to handle these. Because I have a whole other side of the business I need to run. I can't do inspections every day. So she's going to be doing some of these things. Um, the reason we're doing this presentation again is the more informed you are, the easier it is for everybody, right? Because now we're working as a team. You're going to go, you've got a listing, lateral needs to be inspected either in the county or the city. We're, we're a team at that point. We've just got to get this thing done so we can move on, right? Um, let see if I can figure out how to make this work. Yeah, there we go. So. Real brief, county and city ordinances. Everybody knows there's two ordinances, correct? Okay. Uh, the county ordinance is on. Uh, the NASCO certified county staff reviews videos and make final calls on required repairs. In other words, so I'll send Jen out or you'll call us or some other plumber or whatever, and they'll send their person out. They'll take a camera that's on a push rod and they'll send it down the sewer. With the county, the inspection starts at the house all the way to the street. Everybody knows in Santa Cruz County and Santa Cruz City that homeowner owns that lateral all the way to the street, correct? Okay. Um, it will help if you inform your seller of that before we arrive. Because a lot of times if we're getting <laughs> bad news, it's nice if they already kind of knew that part of it. Because um, that's a shock for them, right? It's a real shocker. They're like, you know, um, I'm not going to use the words they use, but they don't like that. <laughs> so the video... We take it back to our shop, we save that video on our private Google Drive because we're, we suspect there's gonna be some litigation in the future, so I wanna have a copy of that video saved forever uh, should anything change down the road. Um, we upload the copy of that video and the little report. We just notate, hey, there's an offset here, this looks weird, this looks fine, this is a different kind of pipe, this is that, right? Um, the county reviews all that, they look at that video, these NASCO certified county staff. NASCO is a pipe inspection certification. I have it, she has it, John Gibson my shop has it, Pete Johnson my shop has it. Um, they look at that and they, then they come back with what they, they call their comments. Okay? And that's it. It says spot repair and they'll list 47 different spots or spot repair in one spot or they'll say no work required. That's your document, that's it. I'll show you what one of them looks like in a little bit. That's it, that's all you get now. That's the whole thing. If there's work required, you get the work done, you pull a permit on the work, and that Sam Stein, Sam, signed stamped permit is uploaded to this box account. Again, that's, that's it, that's your final document. There's no special letter anymore, there's no ribbon cutting or anything like that. It's go sell the house. Um, for escrows, county provides acceptance letter after repairs. Um, video inspections within the last 20 years satisfy requirement. Has to have been recorded, has to have been done according to NASCO standards. Nobody was doing that, so that's irrelevant. <clears throat> Private laterals must be cleaned every 18 months. There's an asterisk there, and the reason I have an asterisk there is because in their ordinance, they're interpreting it wrong. And that portion of the ordinance actually applies to private sanitary systems like HOAs. They're reading it as if it's private property. So you're going to tell every homeowner in the county of Santa Cruz they have to have their TV or their lateral uh, cleaned every 18 months with a hydro jetter to the tune of about a thousand bucks per every two hours. They're insane. This applies to HOAs. I'm still working with them on this to understand that. It doesn't apply to homeowners, it's bonkers. Um, there's no incentive program. With the city, it started July 1st. City certified plumbers, and that's a loose thing because just pretty much anybody can get it. Review videos and make final calls on required repairs. Catch that part, that's the important part. It's the plumber who makes the, he does the inspection, or she, Jen, does the inspection, pass fails it, re-inspects it if it failed after they did the work, and then passes it and hands a little piece of paper to the city, okay? 
There's problems with that, obviously. Um, for escrows, the city provides a certificate of compliance after repairs. Uh, so I need to update this because there's no acceptance letter, it's just those comments. Uh, video inspections within the last 10 years satisfy a requirement. Again, same thing applies. Private laterals must be cleaned every two to five years. What they're talking about are HOAs. That's a private lateral. Okay. Uh, they do have an incentive program on how much longer the money's gonna last. Uh, it's $200 for spot repairs. It's up to $1,200 for lateral replacement. The big difference with the city and county is that the city one only starts at the sidewalk out. Because city of Santa Cruz, Department of Public Works has no jurisdiction beyond the sidewalk. So they can't enforce their ordinance there. So I'll explain what that means. The county is concerned with the entire lateral, the upper and lower. Get used to this language because this is how we're going to talk. And you'll just, that way when we're on the phone, you're not totally lost when I'm doing plumber speed. The city ordinance only applies to the lower lateral. In other words, the portion from the sidewalk to the street. So, this is the upper lateral. This is a dinosaur. This is the upper lateral. <laughs> right? Yeah. Sidewalk, street, this is the lower lateral. Right? From here, here. County, from this fitting, all the way to where it leaves the house, city, sidewalk or sidewalk area, out to the street. Okay? Sidewalk trap or sewer trap. In the city, the, they want to see these traps removed. If you walk up and you see this little plate, pretty good chance there's a trap there. Although on the one we did for you on Cayuga, it was a clean out, yep. right? Next door was a trap though, right? So you see this, and I don't know why the picture's upside down, I haven't figured out how to do that. Um, but if you look at it this way, you'll see, um, this, this is more likely a trap. Everybody know what I mean when I say trap? No. No. Have you ever looked under your kitchen sink and you see the little U-shaped pipe? Mm -hmm. That's a P-trap. Back in the day in the city of Santa Cruz, they were installing those in the sidewalk and your sewer would tie into that. And now they fail. They fail on a regular basis. And so the city is out all those traps. If you have a trap in the sidewalk, it's got to be. That's an automatic fail on inspection. If there is no trap and there is an existing clean out in the sidewalk area, and if you notice there's a handout that's underneath the Wells Fargo's, uh, there's clarity that we finally got the city to clarify what they mean by sidewalk area and these, these traps. Just be aware that handout will address it a little bit. If there's an existing clean out in the sidewalk area and it is accessible from the sidewalk, this will be accepted. Okay? Well, maybe I'll address it right now. Um, you look at it. Can I borrow yours? So, time of sale, sewer lateral inspections. This is what we got from the city. Um, Background, the time of sale sewer lateral inspection is performed for blah, 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 blah. Basic requirements. Must have a clean out in the sidewalk area. p trash must be removed. So here's where it gets weird. If the clean out is located in the yard, as opposed to the sidewalk driveway approach, right, it must have a Christie box around it. The top of the Christie box must be at or above grade so you can trip on it. And to avoid being covered by landscaping in the future. Okay, so if it's there, if we show up for the inspection and that's like that. So let's say this is the sidewalk, this is the street, and I walk up and there's a clean out right here, we're good to go. Okay? Location accessibility requirements. Clean out must be vis easily visible from sidewalk or street. So there's a lot of interpretation there. Clean out must not be behind any type of fence or barrier. Clean out must be within five feet of the sidewalk or street. Okay, now, if a new clean out is being installed, it must be located in the sidewalk itself. So in other words, I can't walk up, dig a hole in the dirt behind the sidewalk, which is cheaper and less invasive. I must now dig up the sidewalk and put a clean out in. Welcome to bureaucracy, folks. This, this is how these people think. This is, it's really complicated and, and unnecessary. Yep, in the sidewalk. It's frustrating to us, too. Right? Uh, so, a couple, I just want to show you a couple pictures of things that we see out there and how they're defined. So, these are cracks in clay pipe. In the city, that gets a two. In the county, that's an automatic fail and they can fix it. Roots, city lets you hydro jet these out. County's going to make you dig that up. This gets dug up. In the city and county, this is an issue because of the direction of the flow. Uh, this is also a county contractor who installed this new main here, right? This is all new main, tied into an old lateral, and the county contractor botched this, and the homeowner still has to fix it. 
Again, another county contractor botch. Uh, what we've been doing is giving an estimate for just these repairs here separately to the homeowner and then they can file a claim with the county. And I call it out explicitly on the form. This was a county contractor who did this. Um, because if I did that kind of work, I'd be going back to fix it myself. I think they should too. Um, this is debris. So what we're learning on some of this stuff is early on the county was calling, can everybody kind of see that stuff hanging out on the pipe? Early on they were calling that out as intrusion where groundwater's getting in. It's not, it's bacteria buildup. You can notice that it's round and soft and gooey looking. It's, it's fat deposits left behind by bacteria. That's not hard water deposits leaking through the pipe. So again, we're educating them. They've moved on a little bit better on um, this stuff. Just to recap, city certified plumbers review videos and make final calls. So the plumber inspects the lateral. The plumber pass fails the lateral. He's gonna fail it every time. The plumber repairs the lateral, because that's, what's the point? The plumber passes the lateral. The plumber buys another boat. <laughs> what they really need to do is, if you do the inspection, you can't do work. When I was a home inspector, I would inspect the home. I could not do work on the home for a year, right? This is how this needs to be, but they're not gonna do it, because what'll happen is it'll drive, if, if I'm not gonna be doing work on the lateral, that I'm gonna charge an ungodly amount for the inspection because it's a hassle. And then it's gonna, nobody's gonna do the inspections and they'll be shorthanded, right? It, it just, the, the incentives are wrong, but it is what it is. So be mindful of this, be mindful. Build a relationship with that plumber. Whether it's me or another company, whatever, find someone you trust. Um, county ordinance highlights. Ordinance applies to an entire lateral, upper and lower. The county, as of right now, is not transferable. I'll update this in a little bit. Box folder now live. I'll explain what that is. And I'll show you an example. Clean out within two feet of the lateral exit of the building, kind of. They've changed that as well. We've convinced them that if there's a clean out somewhere on the property that lets me see the entire lateral, it's good enough. County has final say. Oh, there's no standardized grading system. Although I'm getting really good. We're getting really good at knowing what they're going to call out. County has final say on what work is needed, and it's mostly spot repairs. Key points to take away, verify if the inspection is even required, right? So when you call me for an inspection, and if it's not obvious, sometimes I'll call you and say, hey, have you looked at the CC&Rs? If you check the CC&Rs, especially if it's an HOA, look and see if there's any worry in there regarding uh, 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 private utilities, common areas, all that kind of stuff, and try to find a way to exempt that lateral. Right? Because if the HOA is responsible for the lateral in the county, then the HOA has to do that bullet point of the private inspections and the hydrogenic and all that. And then the homeowner is scot-free. You just have to show that to the county and then they'll give you a pass. Um, in the city, if it's a private collection system, they're going to be aware of that. Good rule of thumb with the city is if it doesn't tie directly to a city main, by passing under a sidewalk, although there's some exceptions to that, it's probably not gonna have to be inspected, right? If it doesn't tie into a city main, you're good. HOAs, we are finding that the majority of HOAs are responsible for the lateral, therefore the seller is exempt. Don't take the property manager HOA's word for it. Early on, they were saying, no, no, we don't have anything to do with this. Yes, you do, you actually do, and I know what your CCNR say. So check the CCNRs, present a copy of the CCNRs to the county, okay? So that's county. Shared laterals, this is no longer relevant. Early on, they were saying if it's a shared lateral, so let's say um, I've got a house here, and I've got a house here, split lot, and this lateral ties into this lateral, which goes out to the street. Early on, they were saying, well, just inspect the portion that's not shared. They've changed that. Now they want to see the whole thing, and that seller is responsible for the entire lateral. I've got, we've got one right now that we've been working with a realtor, and and she's been really working hard for this home buyer. There's the house, there's a duplex, four unit condo unit. They all tie into that lateral, go out the street. Guess where the repairs are? At the end of the lateral. So they've got to fix a lateral that all these other people use? This is crazy. Lawyers are already getting involved. So, uh, other exempt, exemption, ex <coughs> thank you. Septic systems, right? Although the county is working on something, uh, to update that, right now it's just the uh, county health 
but there's going to be something coming along the lines, I suspect. Cities with their own sanitation departments, for example, Scotts Valley and Watsonville, right? How do you know if your lateral needs to be inspected? Does it tie into a county main or a city of Santa Cruz main? If it does not, pretty good chance you're off the hook. Especially if you're in Scotts Valley and Watsonville, there is no county or city jurisdiction up there. GIS is your friend. Does everybody use the county and city uh, ge geographic information system? We've all looked at that. Um, if not, I can show you, this is, so I have the SCAR office pulled up here. See all these things, <coughs> right? So if you sell this office building, I'm going to pull up your address on the county site, and I'm going to see, oh yeah, here we are, there's a county main right out front, so you're under county jurisdiction, right? We use this to find mains when they're hidden or manholes and stuff that we've got to service, and it works good for this purpose as well. Um, sorry. Let's get ahead here. So, use the GIS, or you can just give me a call. I'll figure it out. What's a clean out? Th this is a fun game. This is a clean out. This is a clean out. The little mushroom, right? Nope. That's, that's more likely a trap. This is a clean out, right? Look for these. So when you call our office and, hey, does the house have a clean out? The reason we're asking is we help plan our day. If I know I've got to pull a toilet or a guy's got to pull a toilet or Jen's got to pull a toilet, we're going to add a little more time to that call and push the other ones further back, right? Because it's going to be that much harder to try and do that inspection. If there's a clean out like this or this or this, we can zip through that thing. Um, okay, updates regarding the city ordinance. Is everybody, everybody following me so far? I know I went through that really fast, but I want to make sure that we get the updates on here. Okay, city form makes it difficult to pass an inspection. Repeatedly, the city has said that what they really care about is will this back up? So all this talk about coastal watershed is bonk. What are the ramifications? And then clean outs in the sidewalk area. So that those are the updates. I'll show you this, okay, if I may. So, for example, that form, this is the form we're going off of, right? We've got the address, the information, the date, did it pass fail? First thing on there, pipe shall have a standard clean out in the sidewalk area, P traps are not allowed, sanitary shooters are not having any connection to outside drains or sump pumps, like your storm drains and stuff. <coughs> Building sanitary sewer shall not have a grade five structural defect, grade four or five operational condition. Some of all grades shall not be 13. Let me show you how fast you can get to a 13. Mm -hmm. You're aware of this, right? Yep. Yeah, unfortunately. So a crack is two. Let's add them up in our head, okay? Let's say that I've got, well, let me just cut to the chase. See where it says medium offset or separation, large offset for separation, four and three. Where's my option for a small or minor offset? Where's a one? Where's a two? Where's a, I don't think this is a problem. Where on this form does it say anything about, hey, but it's not going to back up? It doesn't. So we're stuck. And it was clay pipe in the city. You get 13 fast, right? Because you have three little offsets. You're forced to grade as a three. Now you're at nine. Guess what if you get another offset? 10, 11, 12. And then you get a crack. 13. <clears throat> very fast. These fail very quickly. And we grade exactly according to the form. I know the city says we are very strict. No, no, I'm just using your system. I'm using your system to a T because I'm not going to be sued by a buyer. I'm not going to get sued by someone down the road. And you as a seller's agent probably don't want to have that happen either. So we're going to grade it according to their form. I've been hammering them to change their form and had given them suggestions and got no response. So I would appreciate help from you because you are more people than I, to say, hey, can we adjust this form? Can we make it a little easier to pass if all you really care about is that it's going to back up? I have an example of one that we did. So this looks familiar. Yeah. That, can everybody see this a little bit right here? Probably not because of the lights. Uh, somebody hit the lights real quick just for a second so we can see this because this is kind of important. OK. This is an offset, right? See this little feature right here and this feature right here? That means that that pipe is offset like this. We can turn the lights back on so you can see. 
Thank you. So that, that pipe is offset. So they're not, they're not lined up. They're doing this number. In this case, this is going downstream. So the city says, because it's, the offset's facing the other way like this, you're looking at it, it can potentially catch toilet paper or whatever and then back up. That, that is a fail. If this were going the other direction, they would say, oh, it's not going to back anything up. It's still an offset. Right? So if they're making us use their form, right? Just making sure we're all on the same page here. If they're making us use this form, where's the option for an offset that won't cause a backup? Zero. You see, you see what I'm getting at here? This is, this is what we're up against. This is what you're up against now. So what we've been doing is every video I do for the city, I give to the city I make them look at. It. Hey, you don't think your form's right. You look at it. Um, I had one where I did the inspection and I got a 43. And my professional opinion was, yeah, you should get rid of that thing. That's bad. Um, and it was going to be a gnarly project. It was under a giant speed bump. I didn't want to tear the speed bump up. I didn't want to do that work. And like I tell everybody, go get a second opinion. Maybe somebody else will take the risk to pass it. Another plumber went out to hydrojet and gave it a nine. The buyer's agent called me and said, why did they give it a nine and you gave it a 43? And he said, well, I'll show you the video. And then I went out and looked at it for him. Still scored like a 20 something. Took that video to the city and said, hey, you tell me what this is. The city gave it a score of a 15, but still passed it because they didn't think it would back up. <coughs> The buyer's agent went to the other plumbing company, to, their, to that guy's boss. He looked at it and he said, oh yeah, that thing's roach. It's, it's failed. So three plumbers, two, two plumbers and the city failed it, but the city still gave them a passing grade loan, loan transfer. I don't know. What are we doing here, folks? <laughs> um, so my point being is you're going to get a fail. Take the video to the city. Right? Because I can't write on here, hey, it got a 43, but I don't think it's going to back up. That doesn't do me any good down the road for future litigation, right? So that's where we are. Um, clean outs of the sidewalk area, we talked about that on that form. Uh, what are the ramifications of that? Difficult to pass. Um, the city one, update. And I'm trying to get through this quickly because I know there'll be questions. Uh, and I have a lot of coffee. <laughs> Updates regarding the county ordinance. I was told by Elsa and Chad in the county office about a month ago that August 1st, the Board of Supervisors were going to meet and uh, pass and allow transferability, which will take an effect September 1st. Don't bank on it, right? Um, it's the first today. So, is the second today? Oh, I gotta rewind my watch. Um, so, we'll see. I haven't had a chance to check the Board of Supervisors uh, website, but We'll see. It still has to be done. We don't know what the time frame on, how long they have to do. It's probably going to be like 90 days like the city has. But this does give people options. Obviously, the seller is still paying for it in some form, right? In this case, it's going to be by taking money off the top of the, the asking price. But it's going to allow people who are upside down in their house, who are in trouble, or cash poor, or whatever, to at least get out of the house get it sold, and don't have this added expense of whatever repairs they've got to do, right? It, it's something. And it was actually Santa Cruz Association of Realtors who sent a letter to the county pushing for that. Um, we're going to see some leniency on these because I started taking in fittings that we were digging up to the, to the county because they're, with the exception of Bob Hamilton, they're all too young to have actually installed AC pipe, clay pipe, know what that stuff and how you put it together, and none of them have done construction. So I, I'm taking stuff to them and constantly sending them pictures of, no, 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 this is not bad. This is how it was designed, right? And I notate those in the report. Some of you may have seen that. Um, they're getting more and more lenient on stuff because of that, which is good, right? I don't want to dig up anything that doesn't need to be dug up. That's not in the business I'm in. Um, we're busy enough as it is. New technology for repairs, less expensive repairs. Um, I've never been a fan of pipe patch. Uh, my guys will send a cable down one that's been patched and it tears it out. So you can't ever service it, you can't ever hydrogen it. There's a new version of it, it's out of Minnesota. We are going to get it, I just don't know when. Um, that I've seen samples of it. It's something that I have a lot of confidence in. So eventually we'll have that. That's gonna be in those situations where you've got 
one or two little spot repairs out in the street. You dig a hole in the yard because it's cheaper. You get a straight shot at that pipe, send it in. You patch those two spots and you're done. It's not going to be cheap, cheap, but it's cheaper than digging up the street, right? It's not going to work if every joint in the lateral is bad. If you've got giant offsets, right? But when you've got root intrusion or what they're calling I and I, you can hydrojet that, patch it, and you're done. We will have it very soon. Uh, I just need to convince the owners to buy it. And then we'll get it. So that's going to be an option for a lot of people. Um, okay, I think that's the total of that. Before we get into questions, let me just show you a couple things. We talk about box, right? Box accounts constantly. Hey, it's in the box folder. You got an invite for box. This is the box account that the county has put together. Where we upload the county videos. City videos don't go here, right? City doesn't get the videos, it's just a piece of paper, the plumber pass fails. Okay. This is the box account for the county, if I can. Got a little trouble here. Can't seem to pull it up. You can see this box. I don't know if it used to be Dropbox, it's free. When we do an inspection for you, you'll get an invite. It'll say you've been invited to the shared folder on Box. Has anybody seen that yet when you do a county one? Okay. Sign up for it. It's easier to sign up on a desktop. Don't try to do it on your phone because everything within the county lives in this account, right? Your report, the video, the county comments. Oh, there we go. The county comments. Um, let's see if I can find one that was good news. Um, none of these were good news, so I'm going to not put them up. So, what you'll see here this is the we, APN street address, you'll get shared. Uh, then the county comes back, that's Bob Hamilton. He's come back and said, do this, do that, whatever. I think that one has actually good news. So, let's see. This is an example. Oh yeah, county comments. Sorry, it's taking a while. I don't know why it's so slow, but you'll you'll see um, the report that we filed, the video in there, county's comments. Oh, here we go. No work required at this time. This is this is what your home book seller wants to see, right? This is this at this point. If they put this in here, that's it. This is all you get, right? So so when you call us and you're looking for it, it's in the box. It's in this box account with the county. So sign up for it when you get that invite. Watch for it. Um, and because everything lives here. Had they come back and said, do XYZ, and we go out and do it, or somebody else goes and does it, the permit that's stamped and signed is going to be in here. And that's that's it. That's the whole thing. It's all in this box. <coughs> Everybody follow? Mm -hmm. Again, city doesn't have anything like that. <coughs> Um, the number of times that someone has called me and said so and so, -and -so did the inspection and uh, they said they didn't do a report, they don't have the video, and then I race out and do the report in the video for them. It's because no one's kind of regulating that thing. So get that report from that from that plumber. We, we will email you a copy of the report when we do it uh, for the city. Uh, the videos are just too large, just too large to send. Um, okay, I think. Okay. Let's do some questions. Yes. Curious about the city of Capitola down the between houses. They have the sewer line that runs there. How how is that being handled? So that's going to fall under county um, in Capitola. So Capitola, sorry, uh, Capitola uses the county's uh, sanitation system. So it'll fall under county inspection. If that ties into a county main, then the lateral gets inspected per the per the ordinance. So are you talking about if the main runs between houses? Yeah, the, a lot of the uh, mains in Capitola run between the, the yeah. properties. Yeah, we've had quite a few out there. along Gilroy area. Yeah, like um, <coughs> yeah, that main is in the backyard. And if there's something needs to be done, and the ones I'm thinking of in particular, yes, because they're old clay mains mm -hmm. under all the fences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get dug up mm -hmm. or repaired. Um, yeah. Now, th that whole area is just one giant USA mark. <laughs> right, 811 mark. It's just utility marks everywhere. Kicking the CCNRs down the county, first thing I want to know is what exactly verbiage are we looking for? Yeah, so you're going to look for anything and everything that could possibly say that the HOA is responsible for the 
private utilities, underground utilities, uh, anything under the common areas. Um, let's see, somebody, somebody help me out here who's seen some of those. Those are the examples I've seen, but that's, that's it. You want to look at- the city or the county or both? Both. I, I would do that for both. Okay. Uh, but with, with the city, what you got to keep in mind is, if they're in an HOA, and the HOA holds responsibility for that lateral, you're fine, right? Um, so like uh, 413 Western Drive, um, the HOA doesn't own the laterals and make the homeowners own it, but the city doesn't care because that lateral doesn't tie into a city main. It ties into that private collection system. In the county, it's different, right? This is, this is where it gets nutty, right? Are you paying attention? Because she's gonna learn all this stuff. You've got city over here, think city, city, city. Does it tie into a city main directly? If yes, inspect. If no, don't inspect. That's of, as of today, 8-2. That may change tomorrow. County, inspect. Only time you don't have to inspect it is if the HOA explicitly says, we own that lateral. A good example is Capitola Knowles, right? Uh, Soquel Knowles. Uh, those are all HOAs, the four unit condos, right, or duplexes, and one single lateral, and the HOA is responsible for that lateral. And I know that because we service their laterals and their mains. Uh, they own, own responsibility, so if someone in that condo uh, sells their unit, you don't have to do the inspection, just show the, the, the CCNRs for the HOA. And the county's putting together a list of these that they know are, are, are responsible. Yeah. So it says uh, County of Santa Cruz private sanitary inspection and it says no required. That inspection is good for five years? How long is that good for? I think it's five years. Let me back up. This is where I always confuse the city and county. Uh, yeah, I think it's five years. For a county, I believe it's five years. What's that? What's that? It's five for the inspection, but when we get this rental, it's good for the buyer for the I think that's only city is 20 years. Is it? Thank you. See, Jana is learning these. I get confused on this stuff too, folks, because I got to bounce back and forth between county, city, they do what? Yeah. And then every time I learn it, they change it. So let's clarify that. What, what is that again now? Jana's got it. It'll cost me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's when you do the inspection and it passes, and city, you get city. Bill right? County. County. Bill County, right? Yeah. So um, then you get certificate and it's good for 20 years. You scan it, photocopy, give it to the new buyer, and they keep it in their file for 20 years. Okay. Yeah. So that certificate would be shown if there were three different escrows on that within 20 years. Yes, absolutely. You just continue to show this. Yeah. Show this. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what is the city? I don't know. I think the city is 20 years. Uh, uh, 20 years. 20 years. This is why I write stuff down, folks. <laughs> Where to go? Here we go. Thank you. This is why everything's written down because I can't keep it all up in here. Uh, go ahead. Yes, actually, I think I did that last time. I emailed it to Andrea, and she she sent them off. So. Yeah, I can I can send a copy off. Yeah. Yep. Okay, a couple questions. Uh, when you say patch, you mean the sleeve? No, it's, oh. it's different. So that sleeve, I'm not a fan of it. Other people use it, that's fine. Technically in the county, there's only one company that's supposed to be using that. Um, it, it, that's the, the sleeve is, this is just my professional opinion, it's garbage. I dig them up, I looked at one the other day for the county that failed. Now, I didn't fail, the county did. Um, this is a different style. Think of it more like a surfboard patch. It's a, it's, a, it's a fiberglass sheet with a two-part epoxy resin on both sides. You send it in and it's harder than the pipe. It's, it's real solid stuff. I'm very excited about it. Because I can get jobs done faster, right? I can send a guy out and be done in a day instead of being there for five days. Okay, and then how about the sewer lines in the backyard? So County or city? City. So I did one for the city on High Street. Just be aware on High Street, you know where the church is. And then uh, what's the next street over? Uh, anyway, there's no main up there. It's in the backyards. Uh, Bogart Construction did that whole development on high that goes down to Bradley in 1956. Um, there's a six inch main running through the backyards of that. 
between the Bradley side houses and the high street houses, all the laterals tie into that. At first they were saying, no, you gotta inspect that whole six because we don't know who owns it. Uh, a day later they looked again and found a document from 1957 saying that they own that six inch lateral. So the homeowner's on high or it goes in their backyard just inspecting that lateral. So if it ties into a city main, it gets inspected. Okay, that's the, that, think about this. What does it tie into, right? That's your first step. What does it tie into? If it ties into a city main, it's a city inspection, you're gonna do it. If it ties into a county main, it's a county inspection, you gotta do it. And then you start thinking, how, how, what are the exemptions? Ex exemptions? Well, first off, if it doesn't tie into a county main or a city main, but it ties into an, a, a private collection system, they're not gonna have you inspect it, as of right now. If that private collection system then also says they own it. See, this is where it gets complicated when you try to find ways out of it. So the first step is, do we need to do it? What does it tie into? And then you just kind of follow the rabbit trail down from there. Make sense? I'm, I'm sorry to jump from county to city, county to city, but that's the only way I can think about it. And is there a list of plumbers that are authorized to do the video? Yes. Um, with this, on the city and county, there's authorized lists of, of contractors who can do the work. Um, uh, both inspections and do the work. Yeah. Uh, it would be helpful to know the level of seriousness for like some of these things. If you could throw in some pricing, I have yeah. no idea. I don't like what's a big deal and what's not a big deal. I have some of them where I tell the homeowner, I'm like, look, it's a two foot deep spot in your yard. Go get some guys to dig it up, and for 800 bucks, I'll send a kid over to fix it. I have ones that are on seven thousand. It's twenty six thousand dollars. Right, so it's a range. You want a ballpark, 800 to 32. Okay. Right, that's where we're at. It just depends on the nature of what you've got to do. Or can we pipe first most of it um, with the city? Can I hydro jet and get it to pass? Right. Um, am I just digging in the yard? Am I digging in the street? My heart sinks when I go to Aptos because some of those are super, super deep, and you're just like, please pass, please pass, please pass when you're sending that camera down there. Because um, it's it that's that's that kind of work has diminishing returns. Right? The deeper it is, the harder it is, because now I'm shoring, it's dangerous for the guys, and I can't charge what I'd like to charge to make money on it. Right? It's the same thing with the little spot repairs. That's why I tell homeowners, dig it themselves, I'll send the kid over, and he'll fix it. Because it's not worth it to pay a plumber with a $90 an hour package to go dig a hole, you know, for four hours. Ugh. Right? So th there's a range on that stuff. And we work with people. Like if you're like, hey, I got a concrete guy. Cool, one less thing I got to worry about. Hey, I got an asphalt guy. Okay, one less thing I got to worry about. Hey, I've got guys that dig. Cool, I'll just send a tech over and he'll make a repair. I mean, we work with people on this stuff. Oh. So following up on her question, that's not putting everything back together, though. That's just her piece of it, right? I'm sorry? I said following up on her question, that range and price is not putting everything back together, like it's going to up the landscape. Oh. We, we, we put everything back together short of the landscaping stuff. Like if you've got a nice planted area, you don't want plumbers trying to put your <laughs> azaleas back in. But we pass the concrete, the asphalt, we backfill, we tamper, we fix the driveway, we fix, fix the sidewalks, we fix all that stuff. I got a guy, Alfonso, who did a job um, where we had to do a spot repair in the front. It was uh, the stonework. And I just told the realtor, hey, we're just going to dig a 4x4 four four and patch it. I don't have to tell you. I don't know how to fix that. He fixed it, and I was looking at pictures. I'm like, Alfonso, you, you didn't fix the thing in the front of the yard. I had to look really close because he had taken, he had lifted one of those uh, oh. stones up, cut it in a perfect circle around the cleanup cap, and laid it back in. Oh, nice. Right? So we, we, we have some really skilled people that can do this kind of stuff. We also pressure wash and clean everything when we're done. All your marks. So, Jana, you don't have to run out there and scrub the street. That's ridiculous. That's why I pay the lackeys to do. Um, so, yeah, we put everything back um, short of, like, your stamped, dyed concrete. We can try our best, right? Or the aggregate finished concrete. My concrete subcontractor can't do that. A couple of my guys in the shop can come pretty close. It just depends on how picky you're going to be. But I know Whitlow Concrete, those guys are really good. So um, we, we work with people on this. Hey, how do you want this to look when you're done, right? What can we put back? Let's find this. We find subcontractors for people if they're not normal contractors we use. We, we do all that. That's, that's why we charge what we charge, because when it's done, it's done, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. In the city, transfer of responsibility. Yes. You may not know a lot of the details, but my question revolves around 
I would assume that the sub would want to do the inspection and if it fails, have an idea of what the yes. repair work. Otherwise, the buyer is taking on responsibility they have no idea what the work. Correct. So the seller needs to do the inspection. When we do the city ones, we do the inspection. If it fails, we give you an estimate for that and you can hold on to that and just, okay, here's your, that, you're done with your negotiation. This is what the plumber said it's gonna cost, right? Um, the buyer's gonna come back and they're gonna get another estimate that's for sure gonna be higher because that's the idea, right? And then that's your job as, as a real estate agent to battle for your seller's agent. Um, I'm happy to step in and explain the nature of the work, right? Um, no problem at all. I've met on site and done that, walk people through things. This is what you gotta do and here's how you're gonna do that. Um, yeah. Wait, just clarification on that. Uh, the, even within the city where you've got the transference of responsibility, the seller is still responsible for having the inspection done Correct. prior to close of escrow. So you can't pass the responsibility for doing an inspection. Not as I read right. the ordinance, right? Yes. And it makes sense. It makes sense the seller would want to get that done. And no buyer is going to buy something knowing there's this ordinance and just going, oh, I'll do the inspection myself down the road. You're, you're, you're bonkers if you do that because then you don't know what you're getting into. Now you've just said you'll take care of this and it turns into a potential huge bill. So, yeah, the seller would take care of it. Just get the inspection done. That's what I tell everybody. Get the inspection done. Here's my estimate. Or if you, you pass, no problem. You can transfer, you can transfer, you can transfer, you can transfer. Right? And just make sure that that buyer gets the report and the estimate that we sent you, or the other plumber sent you. Or whatever. So, what did they I don't get what they accomplish. If you don't have to do the work, what's the point? Because See, this is a question I've been asking myself with the city one. This doesn't make sense. So, the buyer is then responsible for having the work done. Why? Well, the seller may not have a bunch of cash. Might yeah, they be cash poor. Yeah, they're not cash poor. They're a lot less cash poor than the buyers are. It's well, true. That's not necessarily true. So right. let's be real. Why don't you have to do the work? The, why does the seller not have to do the work? Right. Because the city is afraid of getting sued. Oh. So They're terrified. When I sat with them two years ago uh, to advise on this ordinance that they wanted to do, the first thing he said was, don't do this. It's a mess in East Bay Mud. It's a mess in Marin when they do it. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Right? Well, if you're going to do it, let's do it right. Let's get everybody in ASCO certified. Well, they dumbed that down and made it so a fourth grader could pass it. And then they said they're going to do the transferability, which that was not a bad idea if they'd actually do have some kind of enforcement or some kind of like teeth yeah, to the thing. But it, it, it's it's wonkers. And one of the things that came up in that in that that uh, first meeting I had with them years ago, two years ago or a year ago or whatever, it was uh, they stood up and said, "Well, we don't want to have a lot of litigation." <laughs> Okay. So that, that's they're wishy washy on. Yeah, no kidding. So um, it, at the end of the day, it's it's no buyer is going to come in there and say, "Sure, I'll pay for this. Take it off the top of the asking price," and then they're going to be required to make uh, to have the work done. So. Mike, isn't though within the, within the city now? And I know the county's looking at it. You transfer your responsibility. It may you may want to pull that form up. I think you had it in there. The, the transfer responsibility, there's a time frame within which a buyer is obligated. 90 days. 90 days. Mm -hmm. And am I correct in saying don't both buyer and seller sign off on that transfer responsibility? Yes. If you go to the city site under the ordinance, mm -hmm. uh, all that information is on there. So, the, so my understanding is that the buyer and the seller are jointly held jointly responsible for ensuring that that work is completed within the 90 days. I've never interpreted it that way, but you're right. Yeah, they're going to hold everybody accountable to that. But does anyone follow up on it at the county? We're talking city. Are they following up in 90 days to make sure that? I don't know. It's so new. I mean, it's we haven't hit that mark yet. Yeah. We're we're only 32 days into this. Right. It's going to take another 60 before you know. Yeah. Yeah, but the way we have to be counseling our clients, whether they be buyers or sellers. I'm sorry, folks. I'm deaf in one ear and hard of hearing another. So the only option we have as agents and brokerages is to counsel our clients that both the buyer and seller are signing off on a document that the work will be done yes. completed within 90 days. Yes. The last thing we want to do is be counseling them that there are no sewer police. Yes. <laughs> because there will be sewer police soon enough. It, 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 folks, it's a, it's a civil ordinance, okay? It's a civil ordinance. It doesn't have the... What's the, what's the word? They're not going to throw you in sewer court and through sewer jail. 
<laughs> but here's the thing. Do you ever want to pull a permit on that property ever again? Do you want to get a new roof? Want to do an addition? Want to do a water heater? Want to do a furnace? Then it has to get done. It's going to have to get done. Yeah. So, so again, you're saying there is a form for transferring it to the buyer? City. Yes, city. on the city site. I'll try to pull it up for us. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is there another question? So let's say you have a condo complex and it's got 50 units. Okay. Okay. And so it's four stories high, whatever, three stories, whatever it's limited. Exempt. All right. And you, and the first guy under this ordinance that has to do it. No, he doesn't. No. So he just transfers. So th think about that situation. Uh, I need to know exactly. So let me explain how that works. Okay. Has everybody seen the 870 and 850 Park uh, condo? Yes. Okay. You walk in those doors, and on this side's a bathroom, and on this side's a bathroom. Right. You go around the unit, hey, there's an exact mirror bathroom like this one. And then over here on this unit, there's an exact mirror bathroom just like this one. Okay, who, who owns the lateral? Who's, it, uh, it's all shared. There's two laterals to that entire building on 870 Park that go out each side, right? They're exempt from the inspections. That seller doesn't have to do the inspection. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I see these come in, I call the realtor and go, no, 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 let's knock that off. We're not going to go do that one. And here's why. Condos, because, I mean, who's responsible for anything at that point? Um, the HOA. Yeah. Right? That's a dead giveaway easy one. Right? No inspection required. Go to the county, show them, go to the city, whatever, show them, hey, this is an apartment complex or a condo complex and it's all whatever. And there's a bunch of those in the county. I usually have to drive out and show the homeowner or show the realtor, see, well, this bathroom is connected to this bathroom and there's no real lateral, this comes out this way and this comes out this way. Please run down to the county and let them know. And they're, they're, they're compiling lists of all those. So the, 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 those you don't have to deal with. Right, so here we go. Lateral information and forms. Of course, in the middle of the presentation, everything slows down. There's... You got no bars on your Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh, it was so fast this morning. Really? Yeah. It's all the phones in here. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, no, I'm sharing a Wi-Fi. Right. Well, folks, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pull that up. Um, Mr. Bailey, what he's saying is 100% accurate. There, there we go. There we go. There it is. It's just slow. Just do the inspection. Go through it. Get it done. No avoiding it. Right there. Down. Right there. Transfer responsibility repair form. There it is. So let's see. And I think it does have two signatures. There you go. Okay. Seller's signature. Buyer's signature. Well, that's right. Why we write big contracts? You transfer responsibility, and they're ultimately not responsible for it. Yeah. It's the same thing as the water conservation stuff with the local toilets and the shower heads and all that stuff. It's the same thing if you run in and you get the home inspector and the water heater's trashed and. It, it, it's all the same. You see what it doesn't make sense to me. You know, we have the water transferability the same way. You know? uh, that one, the seller is not responsible. Once you make a tra why do you make a transfer then? Mm -hmm. So you transfer it. The, to city, the, buyer. the city is transferable though. Yeah, yeah. You, you transfer it to the buyer, then the buyer is responsible. The seller is exempt because oh, I it's you. a transfer. Got so you. Well, that, that should be exactly the same answer. thing. So I don't understand why the seller is still on the hook if you transfer it. I mean, if that's I a transfer, question for the city. It's not if you got it in the contract. If you where, transfer where it, where you then transfer then it, then you're saying. Then we, we have to say it. Folks, these are great questions. Okay, I did not write the ordinance. No. <laughs> right? Needs a lot of work. I, uh, amen. Well, by saying that both are responsible, there's a greater possibility that they're going to get it done. When there's only That's one, the, the seller walks away, but I'm done. Yeah. No, they're held responsible. They're going to make sure they're well, done. Here it says. Folks, I know, I know listen, everybody, I know this is upsetting. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I tell sellers when I meet them on site and I do the inspection and we sit on the front stoop and they're crying. <laughs> it's happened. You will get through this. It's just another thing we got to do. And I, and I will tell you, if we can get the city to adjust their form, we get a lot of them that there's no problem. 
honestly, or it's the $800 repair. Really, like I know you don't believe me because what sticks in your mind are the ones that stung, right? <coughs> Seven dad, $26,000, shut down traffic for six days. I get it. But I see a lot of these. I've seen more laterals than anybody in town. Our company has done more of these inspections than anybody in county and city. And I have tons and tons and tons and tons of saved on a hard drive that passed. <clears throat> I had no problems. Came back, no work required. The form it got scored a two or an eight or a nine, or we just went and did a hydro jet, cut all the roots off of it because the city lets you do that, and it dropped it to a five, right? That's a lot of this. Or, hey, 3,200 bucks, let's kick that trap out of there, put a clean out in. It's a good idea anyway because that trap's going to collapse, and you're done. Right? Um, the ordinance is here to stay. They're going to modify it. If you have ideas about uh, ways that would help them modify it, vocalize them. Right? When uh, the association sent that letter to the county, they made changes that were out of that letter. This transferability was one of them. Right? If you do that with the city, like for example, hey, um, change your stupid form please so that it's not so hard to pass, that'd be great, <clears throat> right? Because if all they care about is, is, is it gonna back up, then change it to reflect that, right? You're a large group, you have some influence here. Use that influence. I'm just one plumber, right? Complaining to the city about their nonsense that they've heard me complain to them about everything for years and years and years now. I sound like a peanuts teacher. <laughs> You'll have influence, okay? I, because if you back up what I'm saying of, hey, this form is really hard to pass anything. Can we fix that? Because I'm not gonna just pass something, even if I know it's not gonna back up, I don't have that option. I'm not gonna get sued because I passed a lateral that technically failed. Sorry, not gonna do it. Um, if they don't change this form, I'll probably stop doing the city stuff because it's not worth it. I look like the jerk who fails everybody's sewers, right? Or I set myself up for future litigation. What, what am I supposed to do? But help us out. I get it. You're unhappy about this ordinance. Well, let's get them to modify it, right? Put another letter together, right? Put a little weight on the city. They're terrified. Right? Put some weight on. Show up, show up at the next council meeting. Right? Call Steve Wolfman. Hey Steve, I was just at this presentation with this person. I can't remember his name. <laughs> and he said the form is stupid. It needs to change. It's impossible to pass a lateral that's perfectly fine. Right? So I, it, it, it's here for now. If we don't happy, let's see if we can change it. Mike, one other question. Indeed, getting to kind of where we live, where the agents live, where the brokerages live, you've now done an inspection and assuming that the repairs are required uh -huh. and not dealing with the transfer responsibility, sure. that's a whole other discussion, but repairs required. What is an agent looking for to document that the repairs have now been done? The city has its own form. That the permit. The permit. Okay, the so, permit. so starting with the county, what is an agent looking for to, to see that the work has been completed or the county has signed off. Is the permit, is there something after the permit or you're just getting the document? The permit. Okay, so you can the just the permit. If you can just touch on those two because that's really what agents yeah. are looking for. That signed permit. So with the county, it's the signed permit. Um, let me see if I can pull one up. Yeah, fine. So after, the, after they've issued a signed permit, an agent's not gonna get, or the clients are not gonna get a, an additional document from the county, you're gonna get their form documenting that, there's, that there was an approved permit. As far as I know, if you ask the county for a formal letter, they will give you one. Because some buyers have pushed, and I know realtors have gone. But that's not part of the system. As far as I know, all I'm okay. seeing, because listen folks, once I get the permit, and I, once I do the work and it's complete, I'm out of the system, right? That, that the way this works is I'm, I'm out of the loop. We do this extra step of helping you find these permits and all this stuff, because that's just, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy and it's easier for us to find it, right? Um, so let's see, so Open Cliff, we did a repair out there. Let's see if I can pull this up. The only thing we ever see is this, if it'll ever, 
is thinking. He's thinking over there. Um, you'll see a signed permit here. It's stamped. This is the only thing I ever see. Back in the day, they used to send a letter. And they send it to the mailing address where you did the inspection of a vacant house. But you have to be invited. You to do. The box. And we invite if we have your proper you have emails. You be invited yeah. to the box because that's where the permit is in the box. Anybody that you want to see the county stuff in this shared folder, mm -hmm. make sure we have that email. And the county will invite you to the box as well. Yep. So we just call and ask if we can be invited to the box, even mm -hmm. if we don't have a transaction right now. Uh, I don't no, yeah. Yeah. That's where it gets a little weird. What yeah. we're doing right now is, if it's the seller's agent who asks us to do the inspection, and say another person who we don't know asks to be invited to that account, we ask the realtor, hey, is it okay if so-and-so can see this? Because we're working for you, right? Okay. Still doing it for free, but we're working for you. Uh, if the buyer agent has us do the inspection, we're, we're partnered with them, right? Because right. uh, that's just the most straightforward thing. So here, we did the work. 4610 Opal Cliff. Uh, oh yeah, this thing got delayed because of the stinking wharf to wharf. Uh, <laughs> existing connection involving anticipated ownership transfer inspection 73019, and that's the inspector who looked at it on site. So that, that, this is the only thing I've ever seen. And then for the city, the city they have a form. County. That's the county. Yeah, that's this is county. The city sends a certificate. Yep. City has, city has a certificate that they send. There's the city. Uh, well, it's not on here. But there's a certificate that they send out. That's why that mailing address, if it's different from, if you look on this form, this is good you're asking this question because it drives me crazy hunting this information down. If you look at this form, it asks, mailing address if different from above, right? Because this is where we're doing the inspection right. up yeah. there. This is the mailing address if it's different from above. They're going to mail that that cert, that letter because you know it's 1800s and we mail things still instead of email them. Um, so th that's why it's important to get that. So when you call my office and they're asking you for all that stuff, that's why. Yep. On the, <coughs> excuse me. On the county form, it's actually two pages from what I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. So the second page is wait. The only thing on the second page is the signature. Let me, let me pull it up for you. However, one of our agents has been trying to get that second page in the same there is no second page. From the county? Yes, there's no signature on the first page. That's for the buyer's This is what we deal with all the time. You send a buyer. Um, let me pull one up. So this is what we file. This, this is the first page with the information, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's where you observation. So at so many feet, here's this code. This is what I think about that. And then second page, site drawing. Wow. Right? Draw a picture of the house. Where's the ladder rail? Where's the street? Where's the clean up? All this information. Specifying work recommended. My, our signature, date, and our license. Mm -hmm. That's the two page thing we upload to them. When we go into box, when we upload it to box, they come back, and what they do is they see our PDF that we've uploaded, right? Um, our thing. This is our report. See, Mike Morrow, that's me. Here's a video. Bob Hamilton's county comments, which were fix that thing. We went out and fixed it, and then this is what comes back. So this was their comments. Right? Remember we showed them what they look mm -hmm. like? Here's one that comes back, uh, needing repairs. Thanks for your patience. Okay, spot repair at 73 feet. Due to I <coughs> and I and I. I actually tried to dispute this and lost it. But then we dug it up, and sure enough, it, it was bad. And then this is the permit for the repair work. Okay, does that answer your question? Right, Mike. Yeah. Okay. But there's there's always two pages on that report. There's always and there's two pages on the city one. Sometimes there's three because there's an ex if there's a bunch of stuff that's a super long lateral, right? So if someone's telling you there's only one page, no, there's there's two pages on the at least. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. I would like to 
like, I know every situation is different, but from our first call to you, what's an average length of time that we can tell sellers, you know, to expect? So, again, I'm trying to get her up and running faster, right? Call to her. I don't, it is. <laughs> faster, she learns it faster. Um, so that's going to help. Um, if I can get invested another $8,000 for another inspection camera, I can run another person out, that kind of thing. Um, I'm maybe we can have to get, go do the inspection, but I can always, if you're, if you're stuck, give me a call, figure it out. Um, and then, uh, from the time the report gets filed and uploaded, you've got 10 business days, so effectively two weeks, right? So let's say it's filed on a Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, if... If there's nothing to note, it comes back really fast. If there's a bunch of stuff on there, because I, I can tell when they preview it, I'll see they'll look at it, and I'm sure they sit at the desk and go, oh, right, because it's a lot of work. So the ones with a lot of stuff take longer to get back. Um, and then um, as soon we watch this thing every day, so as soon as I see anything, you, you've noticed it if you've worked with us, hey, here's, here's the county's comments, we've got to go do this, can I run out and look at it? Here's, here's what they're recommending. Does that answer the mm -hmm. question? Yeah. So from start to finish, when you start a job, how long does that take? Depends on the job. Okay, so if it isn't a major one, two, three days? Because if we have a 30-day escrow, you start the inspection on day one, if it hasn't been done, done prior, uh -huh. and you're saying it could take up to three weeks to get that report two, back. Two weeks, 10 business days. Okay, well, 10 business days for you to get an answer from the county. Correct. And then we have to somehow schedule and get it done and close by escrow. Mm -hmm. That's a short window. It is a very you short window. on the first day of the escrow, yeah. So this is why as soon as someone calls you up and says, hey, I want to sell my house, yep. yeah. get that's that that's 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 We agree, but you can't always get it. I know, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, it, a major, major project, I mean. Have you had anything run more than two weeks? Is my no. Question. Okay. Never had a project run more than two weeks. And, and we're not really interested in that kind of thing. There's a sweet spot where I can actually make money doing this. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, and that, I lose, if it's three, four weeks, I lose on it. One day jobs kill me. They, they absolutely crush me unless I can stack a bunch of them together and really crush them. Like, hey guys, you're going to have a 12 hour day. Um, so, but most of the jobs are four or five days. Okay. And by the way, yes, I, once this is done, you, you're done. I still have slurry, asphalt patch, and cleanup. So I get this permit in the middle of the project. So Makes then sense? you're responsible for having the inspector come out to re-inspect to complete the job? Yeah, this was the inspection from the county. Okay. Yep. Yep. There's actually, I don't think, any mechanism in place that this allows you to close escrow and finish. Not that I know of. Yeah, so don't freak out by that because we've done it several times already that the uh, project cannot be completed in time and uh, there's just the agreement between the parties that it will because if you have the permit and you have the paperwork you just assure if whoever you're representing either the seller or the buyer or be a, a nervous buyer just assure them you have the documentation that's in process and that it's targeted out to be completed by this thing. Your signed contract. Yeah. So, you know, and it's the uh, same with the no county. mechanism that keeps you from yeah. closing escrow. That's a big misnomer. Yeah. Um, I, there's been several on occasion where people walk down to the county and said, here's the signed contract with Mike to do the work or with somebody else to do the work. And it, you know, we've done jobs where the first day we're starting, the new buyer's moving into the house, right? Um, it's a civil ordinance. I'm not advising you to violate it. Do it, get the work done, make sure the work gets done. But it's, it's again, no one's, they're not gonna kick your door down, right? Yep. Well, one in the county that we just had that you were part of, the underwriter in the 11th hour called for it. Wow. Yeah. So, you, you know, there are circumstances where they won't just think you can do it out of yeah. the house. Yeah, the, the, the lenders get involved in weird ways, and I'm not sure how they're finding out about it. Uh, there, there's been several where, where the realtors have called me and said, hey, the lender knows and they're calling it a health and safety issue. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, is that how it yeah. is? What's that? I, I, I don't sell real estate, so you guys know more about that. Oh, hold on. So you sent the lender an addendum. Yeah. 